Well, all right, uh, Tyler got his bird first thing this morning, and we've uh, packed up and gone to a new farm. We're going to give it a chance. We've been seeing a lot of birds out in this field. Hopefully there's uh, some out there strutting right now. Let's go take a look. He's still gobbling, he's still in there. Let's see if we can slip down here real easy. Just stay right close to me if you can. Looky there. <laughs> I know we probably didn't get it on film, but I didn't have a chance. I mean, that was the last moment. We tried so hard to get this bird on film. Pete, we almost got busted coming around the corner. He was right there. Right I, bet, there. I bet he's not 15 yards. I know you didn't get it on film. No. But there was no chance. He stuck his neck out, and I had a hole through that corner. And I had to take it. <laughs> he was coming back. We we guessed right. We guessed that he would come back. We thought he'd come back through the woods. Unbelievable. He was right there. If we'd have stayed in our setup, he probably would have come to us, our original setup. Well, let's go look at him. <laughs> Boy, this has been an interesting bird. I like these type of birds. They're surprises when you get there. He's a good one. Check out those spurs. Good night. Cannot believe it. I came around the corner and I just saw red. So I stopped. And uh, Tyler was probably 10 feet behind me. He had no angle on him. But he came walking right up and it gave me a hole through the corner of the woods there. 
Unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank that's you. your that's your Tennessee limit. Yep. Nice bird. Really nice bird. So glad to get him. Good way to end the season. Well, this morning we went out at sun up and set up in a field and uh, outside of Murfreesboro and uh, heard some birds gobbling, one close and one far, and uh, nothing really happened in that field. We made a couple moves and wound up getting five jakes to come in on a one hen decoy, and uh, kind of started getting a little nervous, so I went ahead and, and took the shot and. Thankful to get this nice bird. Uh, had a hard season, but finally was able to get on the board here at the end of the season. And then uh, we decided to pack up and uh, move over here to another part of Rutherford County and and get on another bird. And well, we got here and walked out about 100 yards and kind of got spotted by some hens. We dropped down and heard a gobble and. Hens wound up busting and the, uh, the gobbler kind of disappeared. So we made a couple moves and kind of got set up, tried to call him back. He kind of got quiet on us and we didn't know where he went. So we kind of backed out and we're coming around the corner to, to check a field and, and Pete saw him through the tree line. And well, we tried to get it on footage, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, we did the best we could. Uh, he didn't give us many opportunities, and we had to take the shot when we when he presented one. And unfortunately, didn't get it on film. But we we tried hard. He's a old smart turkey. But had a great day, great way to end the season with two birds, and uh, had a lot of action, a lot of birds all morning long. We were in them thick. So feel fortunate to get these two.